Look at this, last lock, bongo clown. Can't wait to see this mandarin pie. I think they're gonna be sick. Bread to a cypress head albino. Ooh, I could tell you right now just by seeing what's in there. So let's start off with the one that's already been pipping. Bam, hypo puzzle right here. Yeah, this for sure is a hypo puzzle. And right here we have a, and look at that. That's some quality right there. And here's one that was, that was having a huge, huge ovulation. Let's see if you can still see it. What's up YouTube? Man, do we have an exciting vlog for you guys today. We are doing another egg cutting video. Pairing was a hypo puzzle bred to a double head hypo puzzle. So hopefully we hit the odds and we hit some visual puzzles or even better, some hypo puzzles. That would be really, really cool. But on top of that guys, Yesterday, we ultrasounded, for you guys that follow me on my Instagram, um, we ultrasounded over 100 females yesterday, and let me tell you, things are just blowing up right now. We have some females that are ovulating, we just checked some other females that are over 30 millimeter follicles, which that's it for them. I mean, everything with the purple sticker is going. And we are right on track to hit around 45 to 55, even a little bit more, clutches this season. And we just had some pairings last night that we put up that are their last locks for the season for this pairing, which I'm gonna show you guys some of these awesome pairings right now. Look at this, last lock, bongo clown. Don't wanna scare them. And that right there is the spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown. And from what I know, no one's seen a spot nose bongo clown a red stripe bongo clown. Could you imagine a spot nose red stripe yellow belly bongo clown? Whew, that would be freaking sick. Let's check out some other ones. This one as well right here will be their last lock. One more lock. She was over 30 millimeter follicles. And again, this is a Mojave head pied. And she is breeding to the leopard clown pied. Hopefully we hit some visual GHI. Whoa. There's bees in here again. Damn these bees. Hopefully we hit some visual GHI leopard pies, which will be 100% head clown. And I'm actually doing that pairing twice because both of the females are actually, both of the females are ready and they're both about to go in a couple of months. Last lock on this one's already checked. Ivory, bred to a black pastel asphalt head lavender. Last lock for this one as well which is a super chocolate head pie. Breeding to our ODYB Inchi Genex Pied. So you guys know with this pairing right here, I want to hit the pied version of this right here. Oh my gosh, one of the prettiest snakes ever. Imagine that in pied, how insane is that? And she's going into shit, so you really can't even see all her beautiness. Another last uh, lock for these, Pastel Extreme Gene Head Sunset. Oh, that boy's getting it right there. That's a big girl. Last lock for them. Last lock for this one right here, which is a, pet, um, a pied head lavender bred to a mandarin head pied. Can't wait to see this mandarin pied. I think they're gonna be sick. Another one we did a last lock and the check, which was a black pastel albino bred to a cypress head albino. I can't wait to see the cypress albinos. So yeah guys, we actually have some more pairings that did get their last locks, but I don't wanna just bore you with all that stuff. Let me go get this clutch ready and let's start cutting. All right guys, so let's get this clutch ready. And let me show you guys that one is already pipping. And this right here is on day 58. Sorry, day 57. See that little pip over there? Let me see if I can zoom in right there. His head was out earlier. But yeah, I usually just wait till one pips, then I start cutting. If I get a little too anxious, I will actually cut. Like on day five, just fine. I, I usually cut like on day 52, but again, it doesn't really affect the snake in any way after like day 52. From my own experience, I'm not talking like, you know, trying to give you guys advice, but yeah. So let's get this thing going and let's see. Hopefully we hit the odds. All right, so let's get this ready. The turtle's already here because she's gonna be filming. Man, this is so exciting. Let me show you guys again. A uh, double head hypo puzzle bred to a hypo puzzle. Let's see a really good look. Ooh, I could tell you right now just by seeing what's in there, that is a hypo. And again, we've already bred this female since we got her a year ago. So we know that they both, I mean, she did prove out being double head hypo puzzle. We're just playing against the odds now. Let me give the camera to Turtle. And Turtle, you look for the best angles, which I think that's gonna probably be it. I think this is the money ready. My guy. Turtle, who says my guy? Jared. Jared's one of that's a kind, huh? Jared. Really is. That's Don't know anything, anyone else like him. Dear, near do I. Jared, that guy has been through it all. He's a freaking legend. So let's start off with the one that's already been pipping. Here we go. And like I said, this right here is, it just looks like a hypo. 
What do you think, Turtle? Have a puzzle? No, um, just hypo. No, one. not puzzle, I don't think. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, one down. I don't think this is the best angle, though. Look, this one actually pipped out as well, too. Give me a nice little thing to start with. And right here, we have a... Hmm. Normal. It doesn't look like a normal. No, it doesn't, huh? <laughs> what else could it be? Puzzle? Yeah. I think it looks like a puzzle? Let me see the eyes. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, you know more about Morse than I do, Big Doug. All right, let's go to this one right here. And right here we have a... Another puzzle. You think so? So you're saying there's two puzzles already? Yeah, I think those two are puzzles. Are you going off of the color or are you going off I'm of... just going off the pattern, just really? from what I it can It could see. be the the, um, the hat that's making them look like that. I don't think... It's only a guess. I'm I think, I think one's a puzzle. Yeah, so far no puzzles. Well, that I... That I could say. Bam! Hypo puzzle right here. Yeah, this for sure is a hypo puzzle. So cool. So here is egg number five. Man, that one's gooey. And this right here is a puzzle. This I know for a fact is a puzzle. I could just tell for by the fact? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I don't I don't think those are puzzles. I think those are the it's just influencing them big time. 100% puzzle. So far I know that we have a hypo puzzle and a puzzle. And Tina thinks we have like everything's puzzle. <laughs> okay. And right here we have a... This just looks a like hypo a hypo. Something? Just a hypo. All we could get is pretty much just hypos or um, puzzles or normals. I mean the odds are like not doing too good for us right now. This one for sure is going to be a puzzle. Damn. For real? I don't think that one's a puzzle, hypo, hypo puzzle. This for sure is. Look at that. Oh my god. Hypo puzzle. Woo. That is That's sick. Alright guys, so I'm gonna put these things away, get a couple little pictures real quick, send out this picture to the homie Will from Royal Canadian Reptiles, because he actually breathes a lot of puzzle stuff and he helps me out with all these things. So I'm gonna just put this away and then we'll get back to you guys in a few. Alright, well it looks like we hit three puzzles out of seven eggs, right? Seven? Went to the, yeah, seven eggs. It's not that bad, right? I mean, one puzzle, two puzzles would have been fine, but to get three of them, especially hitting one hypo puzzle, yeah, dude, you can't beat that. Because hypo puzzles, man, let me tell you, these things seriously look great as they get older. Check these out. Well, when I say check these out, like, just check this one out, because I only have one. But look at her. She looks good. Come here, hypo puzzle girl. Oops. And look at that. That's some quality right there. Or like Lord of Lion will say, quality. So we have this girl right there. And then we have another puzzle. Hit hypo from that same female. This is what we got last year. From that same female that we just cut the eggs from. Look how big they got. And here's one that was that was having a huge, huge ovulation. Let's see if you can still see it. Oh, I don't want to bug her too much, but yeah. This girl was huge. I can't believe all these females that are going. Inchi DG, yellow belly DG. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna have a lot of clutches. I mean, this, let's just count it off real, real quick. We already have eight in the incubator. So let's see, let's see, real, real, real quick. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 52, and then remember, we already have eight that we had in the incubator. We're on clutch number eight, so I think we'll hit 60 clutch. I mean, who knows? I, again, most of any anything that has a purple sticker is already over 25 millimeter follicles. So again, I mean, you know, most likely it will go. Who knows? But guys, as always, man, we're gonna get back on the grind. Vlogs are gonna be coming here as usual. Like I always say, man, appreciate all the support. We have a lot of eggs that we have to cut, and we have a lot of females are gonna be laying. Till next time, peace.